Today on Bits, we're going to talk about angle grinders. The angle grinder is a very versatile tool. They're usually pretty inexpensive to pick up and they tend to last a really long time. So we're gonna talk about just a few of the many ways that you can use an angle grinder. You can cut and grind metal. You can cut stone and tile. You can sand things, polish things, sharpen things, carve things. It's a tool that you can use in a bunch of different ways. The angle grinder is basically a high RPM motor that spins a disc. Now these are all pretty similar, but there are a few differences that you may wanna look out for when you're picking out your first grinder. The first is the size of the disc. You will see them all the way down to three inches all the way up to nine inches and probably even larger. Another thing to keep an eye out for is the maximum RPM of the grinder. Like I said before, these are high RPM motors, usually a lot higher than most other tools, but you will see a range from around 2000 all the way up to 12,000 RPMs. Some grinders do have a fixed speed, but a lot of them also have variable control so you can get a full range of different speeds. And another thing is that some are cordless or battery powered, some are corded. The battery powered ones, in my personal experience, don't last super long depending on the type of work that you're doing, but a corded one will last all day long. Some of the different grinders have a handle on them that you can move from one side to the other, depending if you're left-handed or right-handed or the situation that you're working in. They usually also have a guard on them that does come off, but that's really not a good idea. Sometimes the discs on these things tend to explode and that guard can save your face. So if I were you, I would always keep the guard on the grinder. Speaking of things exploding into your face, it's also a good idea to have a full face shield when you're working with a grinder. The disc itself could explode, but also just using the tool throws debris everywhere, so it's a good idea to be fully protected. Sometimes these tools are also very loud depending on what you're working with, so you also probably want to have some hearing protection. Also, a respirator is a good thing to have on hand. Grinders throw all sorts of dust, and you don't really want to breathe it in. Let's talk about a few ways you would use an angle grinder when working with metal. You can use a cutoff wheel to cut through all sorts of different types of metal. It's super handy if you don't have a dedicated metal cutting saw of another type, like a bandsaw. But do be aware that these discs get smaller with use, so you are going to have to swap them out pretty often. You can also use a grinding wheel, which is a thicker abrasive disc, and this is great for sharpening things, whether it's a knife or blades for your lawnmower. These come in many different grits, so look at all of your options and figure out what you want to sharpen and how you want to sharpen it before you pick out your wheel. A grinding wheel is also exactly what you need if you've done a welding project and you need to clean that down to a fully flat surface. Once you've got your weld done and everything ground down, then it's time to clean it up. You can use a wire brush for that, and those come in a cup shape or a flat disc. That's also great for removing paint from a metal surface. Some of the wire wheels are covered in a brass coating, and those are even better for polishing certain types of metal. And speaking of polishing, you can put a buffing wheel on an angle grinder, and with the right compound, you can get a great polished surface. Next, let's talk about masonry work. You can use an angle grinder to cut tile, stone, concrete, and a bunch of things like that using diamond discs. There are some other types that will work, but a diamond disc will work best and last longest. You can also use an angle grinder to sand lots of different materials. You can get a nice surface on wood or metal using a flap disc. These flap discs are overlaid pieces of sandpaper around the edge of the disc and they come in all different grits. Or if you need to shape a little bit more than sanding, you can actually carve with some very specialized heads that can be added to just about any angle grinder. Those are the most common attachments that I use with an angle grinder, but there are several others. There are some that will turn your grinder into a belt grinder. There's some that will even turn it into a tiny chainsaw. But the point is the angle grinder is a very versatile and pretty inexpensive tool that you can use with lots of different materials. If you've got some other awesome uses for the angle grinder, please leave them down in the comments so we can all learn together. Big thanks to Isotunes for sponsoring this video. They are my go-to hearing protection here in the shop. They're OSHA compliant Bluetooth headphones so you can listen to music while you work, but they also have noise canceling so you can take phone calls even in a loud space. I wear this kind here in the shop, but I've also got some over the ear that I use when I'm running. If you wanna find out more, hit the link right over there. I've also got a playlist of Bits videos that you might wanna check out and I'll be back later this week with a new project. I'll see you then.